Hi guys, I'm Laurent and I'm gonna show you my project, the watchdog. Here it is. So the watchdog is a wireless pool alarm. Uh, I chose to build a wireless pool alarm for this project uh, because everybody knows how unsafe personal pools are, uh, and there is uh, there are some uh, pool alarms on the market. Most of them are not wireless and uh, a lot of them are above four or five hundred dollars uh, and this prototype is only about one hundred dollars so it's a low-cost wireless pool alarm so there's two parts uh, on this project on the on the right uh, inside the, the duck there's uh, the detector and on the left this is the base station so i'm gonna start with the detector right there so, the detector is mounted into a bath ducky, uh, so the, the duck can float uh, above the, the water and follow the, the motion of the waves. So, for example, if a child fell into the water, uh, it creates waves, and this, uh, this duck is able to detect waves uh, using a free axis accelerometer. And then, uh, after, uh, the duck is sending a signal to the base station, and the base station is triggering an alarm. So, this is the detector part of the project. I didn't put the screws so I can easily unmount the detector. And it is. So, right there, uh, there is the RF uh, transmitter, a pack of batteries. You can see a buzzer there, and below, this is the, the main board of the detector. So in the middle is the the free axis accelerometer. In fact, only the Z axis is uh, used in in this project because by using this only axis, uh, I can detect the, the motion of the waves uh, without any calibration. So just by measuring the acceleration the vertical acceleration. Uh, right there this is a big microcontroller and very few other components, uh, voltage regulators and uh, a bicolor LED. So this is the detector and the other part of this project is the base station. So this is the base station. And there is one uh, LCD, LCD display right there and four touch keys uh, right there and on the other side uh, you can see the RF receiver which is right there uh, and uh, again few other components this one is to to manage the touch keys and uh, the, the one in the middle is a peak microcontroller again so the link, the wireless link between the, the the detector and the receiver is a is a 433 megahertz uh, wireless link uh, using a CRC 16 uh, cycle uh, resonance check uh, in order to to ma maintain the the variability of the link and. Uh, and so that's it for the link. Okay, so I'm gonna start the base station to show you. So let's plug the base station. Right there. Okay, so this is the base station. There is four touch keys. The one on the top is to turn on and off the alarm. Oh. So now the alarm is on. You can see the detect the statues of the detector, and the the left and right arrows are uh, to um, navigate through the menus. So the first menu is the detector statue. Then there is the signal strength, uh, and the last one is the alarm style so for now the alarm is enabled and I can disable it okay, like that 
Okay, so let's turn on the detector. I'm gonna pet the, the statues. Okay. So when I'm when I turn on the detector, I have uh, something like five or ten seconds to pet it into the the water, and then up the detector is now connected. So the detector has sent uh, its statue to the base station, and the base station is now connected to the detector. So each time the green uh, LED right there is blinking, uh, the detector is sending a f uh, each statue to the base station. So if the detector is not sending anything, the base station can deduce that the detector is not anymore connected. Okay, uh, let's go for a first demonstration. Uh, so I'm gonna move the detector a bit and the alarm is trigger. So I can easily stop the alarm by pressing there. And this is the end of the area. There's few other functions uh, to this uh, project. So the first one is that uh, you can see the signal strength. And in fact, uh, each time the detector right there is sending a frame, so each time the green LED is on, uh, you can see that the, the signal strength is going up uh, because uh, the detector is d using the, the per done function, the functionality of uh, the RF transmitter uh, to save energy because it's really important for uh, an AMD device. Uh, so that's it for the signal strength and uh, the last function is that the detector is able to detect a low battery uh, level. Uh, so I'm gonna show you, let's turn uh okay that's it's gonna it's gonna ring that I guess I'm gonna put an old battery right there so if I turn on the the detector with a low an old battery the detector is going to detect this low battery uh, and it's going to send uh, the, the signal to the base station so you can read running low battery and then the the base station is sending an alarm and uh, it's going to send an alarm again and again uh, because uh, you can't have a detector with a low battery and uh, the, the last uh, functionality is that when the detector uh, is off uh, you can see the the status of the detector is gonna change because the base station is not uh, anymore receiving any frame from uh, this detector. So in few seconds, the base station is gonna show that the detector is disconnecting right there. Okay, so that's it for this presentation of the the Wadjuk project. Thanks for your attention. And if you have any question, please send me an email. Thanks.